There is a paradigm shift in the way surgical practice is being undertaken nationally and worldwide. There is much more mechanical and digital inputs which help a surgeon perform better surgery. And robotic surgery is an example of that. Newcastle Urology has led the way uh, to be able to offer that to the patients. The Newcastle upon Tyne Hospital's NHS Foundation Trust, based here in the northeast of England, we have 14,000 staff, 1,600,000 patient contacts each year. Urology is pivotal to our service repertoire, our overall portfolio, and our international standing. Newcastle Urology is probably the biggest uh, urology department in the United Kingdom. We have 18 consultants providing uh, all kinds of uh, urological surgery. We offer one of the highest number of robotic surgical procedures in the country. Robotics has been a fantastic innovation in terms of being able to offer surgery for the prostate. What we've recognised certainly here at the Freeman is that prostate cancer doesn't start and stop at the diagnosis and treatment. All men get offered the full range of survivorship services that we offer here. There are a lot of challenges for men who have had prostate cancer and a treatment for prostate cancer. I got a bit of a low ebb, had uh, continence problems, didn't really know how to go about it or what to do. In my role, I specifically give practical advice and support for these men to manage more effectively. We also offer courses such as a Living With and Beyond six week course. We have expert speakers so they can ask any questions that they want. Being able to talk to another 11 or 12 guys who were in the same position as you, you know, all of a sudden you weren't on your own and, and that, was, that was really uplifting. In addition to robotic surgery, we are leading in uh, offering uh, laser treatment with different kind of urological conditions. We offer a variety of laser services for prostate uh, problems. We use prostate lasers to uh, incise bladder necks, to enucleate prostate glands and also to vaporise prostate tissue. The advantage of laser surgery is that there's a very significant reduction in the bleeding risk associated with the operation. We can do most of the operations as either a day case or a short stay uh, procedure. And also one of the great advantages of the laser is that it can tackle very much bigger prostate glands than conventional surgery and can manage the sort of prostate glands that a few years ago required an open operation and often a seven day stay in hospital. We are also a leading centre uh, in offering a treatment for bladder dysfunction, uh, which includes neuromodulation and also reconstructive urology. In such a large department, we can offer a full range of functional urological surgery. So that would range from female incontinence of both the urge and stress type, and male incontinence, which is largely post-prostatectomy incontinence. We also offer a specialist surface for recurrent urinary tract infections. Some of the specialist services we provide here are stoma care, um, continence care as well, particularly teaching intermittent self-catheterisation, but we also do sacral nerve stimulation as well. Sacral neuromodulation involves the placement of an electrode which would sit alongside uh, the relevant nerve roots which give off fibres to supply the bladder. I had a spinal injury in 2010 and my, the, my spinal nerves were affected and my bladder. When I first came to see Mr Harding I had no idea how he could help me but he explained that he could put an implant in my spine. Before I could never go far from the house or far from where there was a public toilet. When I had the stimulator in permanently it changed my life completely. Another strength of working in such a large department which is affiliated to Newcastle University is our research programme here. We're doing significant clinical research at the moment, not only in the fields of urological cancers such as those of prostate and bladder, but also into benign conditions. One of the ones that I'm involved in is looking at non-antibiotic alternatives for the treatment of recurrent urinary tract infections. With regards to prostate cancer specifically, we run a number of trials. I have a major interest in how men recover after prostate cancer surgery. But at the other end of the spectrum, we offer clinical trials with new novel agents to treat men with advanced disease. 
as surgical technology keeps on improving, it is vital that surgeons are trained in new surgical techniques. Newcastle Surgical Training Centre, as of 2015-16, trains surgeons over 150 courses per year across a wide variety of surgical disciplines. The spread of our training programs includes junior trainees who have entered surgical training, all the way to senior trainees who are on the cusp of becoming consultants, and established consultants who want to implement a new surgical procedure in their centre. We really start off with the basics, knot tying, suturing, um, going on to work with um, computer simulators and also train on cadavers to practice more complex procedures as well. You get to see a wide variety of cases that often you don't see in your usual place of work. Um, and it gives you a safe environment in which to practice as well with um, excellent trainers from all over the northeast. Training in and of itself generates research ideas. We find that increasingly industry wants to work with us to test prototypes of instruments so that they are more cost effective, they're better and they're brought through the market for better patient outcome at an earlier stage. I believe surgical practice is going to change drastically in future. Uh, the surgeons are going to be using much more mechanical constructs and also digital inputs. In Newcastle we are at the forefront of not only offering robotic surgery but also offering training in robotic surgery and we're looking forward to uh, undertaking research projects to be able to offer new surgical techniques to the patients.